and in a bid to change several misconceptions about the Fulani tribe, whom many describe as frontiers of banditry in Nigeria, scholars say education remains a key factor. This formed part of a discussion during the National Association of Fulani Students Week held at the Amadou Bello University in Zaria, Kaduna State. And now the report. If we don't look at the education sector, if we don't sort these things out, we are like breeding more and more bandits because they don't even understand the implications of what they are doing. They don't understand the gravity of the offenses they are committing, either as Muslims or as uh, people of other faiths. In changing the narrative, the enlightenment and sensitization must be far reached because an ethnic group is found wanting. Our youth constitute a very percentage of Nigeria, and these are the people that are shown all over as bandits. What do we throw? He said so, the black thing. Why the tenants of black? The pastoralist child with an 1847 rifle? Stopping you on the road, robbing you, kidnapping you, is not a problem. We should say it as it is. We should inform our people the truth. If you work hard, you will get whatever you want in this world. You will never be a billionaire if you are a kidnapper or whatever. And that has a way of dealing with you. So we must talk to our people the truth. Those guys that are lambs, you let them go to school. Let them get religious education, let them get Western education, and let them do what they the full best student week was the sole avenue to express the need to spread the value of basic education to rural communities as a way of curbing the ill mental approach of life and societal norms. We know that our parents, some of our parents, doesn't know the value of education. We strive hard for our younger ones to come to school, but due to the lack of knowledge for their parents, some will send their children to school without supporting them, without uh, proper support, sponsorship. Before we learning, we don't know anything. We only know bush. We can take our cows, ram, and go to the bush. But now, at the end life, for example, life will come to the occasion. We we said there are so many Flannies account associations of the Flanny from other universities and other high educations from other states, the state they come to present here. So that is I, I am very happy to see that as student of the Flanny. So I think the enlightenment, even your father is not in the bush, I think your grandfather is the chief host of the occasion, Emir of Zazao. Ambassador Nuhu Bamali also opined that the uniqueness of the Fulanese cannot be thrown into extinction despite all odds. Fulani heritage is a very uh, beautiful and also important. Uh, and I believe, you know, the advent of social media, people will see the beauty of the Fulanese and also uh, how the, the heritage of Fulani uh, is assisting in the development of this country. As human capital development remains a concern in Nigeria, the role of religious leaders cannot be underemphasized for the actualization of this cause.